how many pizzas am I ordering? Building and using my own application shell or template is one of the keys to my success. Do you know what the application template that I'm talking about is? When people talk about Power Apps templates, they normally think of these application templates that are provided by Microsoft. That's not what I'm talking about. It's not one of these. It's one that you build yourself that becomes your starting point every time you start to build your own Power Apps application. It's the one that you build or use that becomes your starting point in every one of your Power Apps projects. So you don't have to start from scratch every time you build out an application. There's a lot of common denominator features in all the applications that you'll build. You'll want in every app. Why reinvent the wheel? Why repeat and duplicate your efforts? When you can put all those features in your own application shell, your own application template, and save yourself some time and some effort and avoid the frustration. I believe that having an application shell or an application template like the one that I've just described saves you about 30%, give or take a little, in your whole Power Apps timeline for any given project. Well, I have two options for you. I can either take you step by step, feature by feature, and we can build out your own application template. It might take a little while. You're gonna learn tons along the way. If your project's due tomorrow <laughs> and you wanna save some time, you can just purchase mine. It's a good way of saving time. And as a lot of people know, time is money. I present to you those two options. Take a look at this growing list of videos in this playlist. Be sure to check it out because there's probably going to be more by the time you watch this video. So now let's focus our attention on a blog entry that I created for you guys. If you head over to powerappstutorial.com, click on the blog at the top, then go find the entry that says Power Apps Template Application Shell. I listed off all the things that I suggest that you should have or you might want to have in an application shell, an application template. So let's, let's go through some of this stuff here. Dynamic theming, a weight spinner application header. So what I've done is I've created a video for each of these bullet points and shown you how to create an application shell one feature at a time. So you can create your own. If you want to save time and you don't want to spend the hours creating the theme and tweaking the theme yourself, I have mine. I sell if you just want to save yourself money. You don't have to though, you can build your own. So I thought I'd share that with you. So if you're interested in stepping through each of these steps and building your own application template, I suggest checking out the playlist that I've created for you guys with all these individual videos. And there is an associated course with this. I'll have the links below so you can click and check those out as well. Let me know what you think. If you found anything in this video helpful, we would really appreciate you click on that like button. Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can condense six months of Power Up struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power Apps Deep Dive Masterclass.